Nike could tears on my feet. I don't take pics, but I'm feeling stylish. Just cop from jewelry, new teeth. Every time I smile, you can see the diamonds. Y'all really don't want no beef. Flip the whole function, get the wallet. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. Stay in your lane, you ain't got the mileage. I'm with the gang, I'm with the squad. Always roll deep and we move like the mob. Got our own section, ain't fucking with y'all. Keep going up when I'm watching you fall. You really not hard, you niggas just soft. I made my own calls, I don't got a boss. Your Bentley is rented, can't handle the cost. A lot on my plate, I just can't take a loss. I'm with the gang. Yo, YouTube with your boy Jared, the one, the only one. I'm back with the video, yes sir. Today, yes sir. Today, man. So today, man, we got an in hand review, an unboxing, and an on feet. A Nike Dunk Low 75th Anniversary Chicago Blue Colorway. It came out today. The retail price was $100, and the grade school size was $85. Luckily, I picked up a pair. Sadly, I didn't get my personal size, but still, I can still get y'all on feet. I ain't gonna lie, if they had my size, I definitely would have kept it as a personal. But, you know what I'm saying, I don't work out like that. But it's all good. Another shoe. Let's move on. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. Keep it pushing. But like I said, we're going to have our own feet, an unboxing, and an in-hand review of these Nike Dunk Low, 75th Anniversary, Chicago Bull Colorway. If you already did, man, make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. I appreciate y'all showing love support as always. Without further ado, man, let's get to the video. So like I said beforehand, this shoe came out today. Retail price was 100 and the grade school was 85 Comment down below, man. Let me know. You cop this shoe, you pass on it, you know what I'm saying? Let your boy know down below. I ain't gonna, like I said, I ain't gonna lie. If I'd have had my personal size, I would have kept this shoe. But I don't have my personal size. I'm salty. But I'm sick of y'all on feet. Resale value on this shoe is going crazy right now. Going over $100 over retail. Like I said, retail was $100. The resale right now going over $220, $230. That's in my size. Smaller sizes, about easy $200, but over like $11, $11.5, $12. .5, easily at $220, $230, $240. You know what I'm saying? Prices vary, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on what size you're getting, I should say. The grade school size is not doing too bad at all. Retail price is 85. So I taxes be like looking at 90 something. So resale is like 150, 160. That's a nice little nice little chunk of change. But y'all get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You make a nice little chunk of change on this shoe. But I did too much talking about the shoe. Let's go get that shoe out. There you go. I guess all your Nike Dunks. I thought it would come in a special box. This is the 75th anniversary. You know what I'm saying? All the they got the Brooklyn Nets, the Bulls. I forgot the other ones they have, but they're coming out different 75th anniversary Nike Dunks. I thought they were coming in like a special box or something like that. So they're like, nah, y'all get the plain Jane, red and white Nike box. Keep it pushing. <laughs> but there you go, right there. And it's Nike Dunk Low Retro Sail Black, like chili red. Retail price is one hundred dollars. Not too bad for a Nike Dunk, man. I wish I I got my personal size, but it's all good, man. Let's go get these bad boys out. Clean, bang. Here they go, man. Nike Dunk Low, Chicago, seventy fifth anniversary, right here. Y'all really don't want no beef. Flip the whole function, get the body. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. Stay in your lane, you ain't got the mileage. I'm with the gang. I'm with and Chicago Bulls my favorite team too, so it's like ah, like ah, Saudi. It's all good though. At least y'all get to see the review of this shoe, man. I ain't gonna lie though. The different, <clears throat> excuse me, the difference between on these pairs, the 75th anniversary, the leather quality I could definitely tell is completely different from your normal centerized. You know what I'm saying? Just plain on Jane, like a Nike Dunk, like the Georgetown, or like a, you know what I'm saying? Like the Midas Gold I did a review on. The leather quality on these is A1. Uh, like A1. When I say by A1, that basically saying the leather quality is, is real, real good. So if y'all can tell right here, when I tap on the toe box, like it just, y'all see that crease right there? Usually it'll bounce back, but it's got good leather quality on this Nike Dunk. That's a good thing on this shoe. Get the other one out. So it doesn't come with sets, any laces, anything like that, it's, which is cool. Ain't no wrong with it. Back to the side. Yeah. This shoe is definitely fire. Like I said, I'm a Chicago Bulls fan, so it definitely worked out in my favor. I'm just like, ah, I'm salty, but like I said, it's all good, man. It's all good. I can still get y'all on feet, you know, it's gonna be big, but <clears throat> it's all good. I can still get y'all on feet of the shoe. But let's go ahead and talk about the shoe, man. Of course, on your outsole, you got your red outsole. It's like a chilly, bright red outsole. 
Go along the toe box, you got your sale toe box. Like I said, that leather quality is good. I like the leather quality of the shoe. Also around the toe box, you got your chili red around the toe box. You got your white midsole. You got your black leather Nike swoosh. Right here on the side panel, you got your sale side panel. Hence of the black around the heel area. On the back of the heel, you got your red Nike stitched in. Got your sets of black laces. And on the tongue right here, stitch in says 75th anniversary. Inside the shoe, got your black and white Nike logo. Wish it came with sets like white laces or anything like that. That'd have been fire too. Some white or some red laces, but some white laces would definitely be dope on these though. Wouldn't be bad at all. Oh, I forgot one more thing. See that diamond right there? It's the logo for like the 75th anniversary, you know what I'm saying? So I like the detail of the shoe. The leather quality definitely grabbing my attention for sure. Y'all could just tell, look at the shoe. Like the leather quality compared to any other Nike dunk that normally comes out. The leather quality don't be up to par like this. Like, y'all could just see the uh, the tongue with leather right here. This look real, real good. Even on the black. I'll show y'all a better angle right here. It just looks way, way better, man. So, definitely, definitely sorry that I didn't win my size. I am sorry that I didn't get my personal size. But, like I said, I get a review out for y'all so y'all can see the shoe in hand. And plus our own feet of the shoe so just sorry man but hopefully i can find my size you got 11 11 and a half hit your boy up down below all my social media platforms are down below instagram twitter tiktok all that hit me down below man i definitely need these joints because these don't these are clean i'm a bulls fan too so let your boy know man but let's go ahead and get his own feet going man like and subscribe subscribe if you're new man let's get to that 5k man let's get it Section ain't fucking with y'all. Keep going up when I'm watching you fall. You really not hard, you niggas just soft. I made my own calls, I don't got a boss. Your Bentley is rented, can't handle the cost. A lot on my plate, I just can't take a loss. I'm with the gang, I'm with the squad. I'm with the gang, I'm with the hoop. I'm with the gang, I'm with the squad. I'm with the gang, I'm with the, I'm with the gang. Gang, GVO, that's the family. I'm making classes for the culture like I'm Spike Lee. But I'm trying to be a legend like I'm Stan Lee. I do the most for my people when I show it. I'm never stopping, dedicated, and they know it. I used to really write the lines like I'm a poet. They say that shit ain't for me, so I stole it. I only rep for my fam. Who do you think that I am? The ball in my court, so I cram. On fire like NBA Jam. I don't think that you understand. Somebody come get they mans. You stumble and form your lines, man. I think it's wise if you sit in the stands. I'm with the gang, I'm with the squad, I'm with the gang, I'm with the hoop, I'm with the gang. Yes, yeah, sir, I'm back from my own feet. Super clean colorway, man. Super clean colorway. Like I said, on the on the toe box, it's not like a white, it's more like a sail. Kind of like a little off-white, but the midsole is definitely white. It just around the toe box on the side panel and back of the heel. It's more like a sail, like a little off-white to it. But these are super clean, super clean colorway. I was running Nike Dunks, even though it's a way bigger size. But normally Nike Dunks, I always go true to size. Like I said, we're 11, 11 and a half. So if you wear that 10, fuck a little room in your shoe, because they do feel a little snug. But after a while they start breaking in, you'll start working, you know what I'm saying? The size running Nike Dunks, normally I do 11, 11 and a half. It just depends on, you know what I'm saying, if they got 11, I could do 11. I prefer a size 11, you know what I'm saying, because I actually wear my shoes and then like, I don't worry about the creases in shoes the majority of the time. So they break in easily. But a lot of people that don't wear their shoes, go half size up because Nike Dunks do tend to run small a little bit, a little narrow too. So if like a little room in your shoe, go a half size up in your Nike Dunks. But if you don't mind a snug fit, get your true size for sure, man. But here they go again, once again, a Nike Dunk low. 75th anniversary Chicago Bull colorway, man. Ooh, I'm sorry I ain't getting my size, man. I'm a Bulls fan, man. Comment down below, man. Let me know y'all favorite basketball team. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm a Bulls fan. You know, I see a Giannis poster behind me, but I'm a Bulls fan at the end of the day. You know, I'm not from Chicago, but we ain't got no team in Cincinnati basketball-wise, so I've been a Bulls fan ever since, man. Since Derrick Rose, Carlos Boozer, who else was it? Kirk Heinrich, all them, boy. We good, we doing good right now. We hurt. You know what I'm saying? They keep talking about the the heat, the best contenders. Woo do woo. Nah, nah, nah. We not fully healthy yet. No worry. We missing Lonzo, Caruso. What's his name? I forgot Patrick or Pat. I forget. They be changing his name up so bad. Patrick Willis. 
I'm missing him, man. So it's, it's all good, though. It's all good, man. But that's it for this video, man. Like and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new, man. I appreciate y'all showing love and support as always, man. Make sure you follow me on all my platforms down below. Also, subscribe to the channel, man. Post notification bell is on. Make sure you, make sure you got that post notification bell is on, man. So you'll be the first one to know when I post shorts, videos, all that good stuff, man. I appreciate y'all showing love and support as always. Catch another video, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Jared One is out. Peace.